I'm going to go through how to navigate the records uh, module of Subjects Plus. So here we are, this is version 4, here we are on the splash screen. We see the records uh, tab and drop down. So let's just click this. This is going to take us to a, a kind of overall list of everything. So you'll note that you can navigate um, along the top by number and letter. You can see a list of everything. You can also th see things that have been tagged by these various um, tags. So everything that's listed as news and newspapers, you can kind of see it that way. Um, so <coughs> when you're ready to, <coughs> excuse me, when you're ready to edit an existing uh, entry, you can click on that and you'll see the record uh, screen. Just kind of quickly going through this, um, you know, the prefix if there's the word the, you, if you put it there as opposed to in the record title, then this the record would be sorted, um, you know, alphabetically by what comes here as opposed to by the letter T. Um, you can also have an alternate title, uh, and so that means this record is going to show up both under the numbers for 17 and also for the the letter S for 17. Um, you can write a description. You've got the WYSIWYG kind of box to do that. You enter a location, which is key, which is where it's going to go. This call number actually is not a call number. It's something we use internally to restore some data there. But um, you see the, the format here. If it's web, the location is going to be that URL. If it's print, then you'd be entering a call number here. And if it's print with URL, um, you know you can have both. And the access restrictions, basically, if you have it set as restricted, that means it's going to uh, note that it's a restricted uh, um, resource on the public page, the A to Z list, and also if you use it in any of your subject guides and choose to, to show the icons, it will also uh, prepend the proxy string. Um, and if you notice here, the rest no proxy is short for restricted, but don't include the proxy string. And the on campus only just means that it's on campus only. Um, you notice here we've got this is lit up, the A to Z database list, uh, and there it is in a non lit up state. Basically, everything that's flagged with this is going to show up on the A to Z list because we're working on the assumption that you have many more records stored that you don't necessarily want to show up on that master list. Um, and there's a special permission that allows you to add this and also to have a delete button. Um, the ordinary user is not going to have those two buttons. You can have a little display note. Um, this is often where you put something like, for instance, if it's on campus only, uh, you might have a note saying this is only available on campus or in the math lab or whatever the case may be. And that will show up without having to, um, to minimize, maximize something on the screen like it's always displaying. If you have a help guide that you've written up, put in the loca location of it here, and that will allow you, um, it'll, it'll create a link to it. Because I know people have for some data, some databases, they, they create guides to help people navigate them. Um, whole slew of these C tags, which is what we saw on the previous screen, you know, you can, you can create your own kind of tags. These are the ones that we happen to have. And it's a, a way of slicing and dicing your records, you know, allowing different kind of groupings of them. There's also an add another location button, which will just reproduce this whole box here. So if one item has, you know, it's got a print version and it's got a online version, you know, that's how we do it. And you can delete a location as long as you have two. You can't delete when there's only one location. Uh, we've got our save and delete buttons here. This default source type is, it's kind of confusing, but basically this is a um, auto-generated uh, thing. It it does a little math here and sees which is the most common and and create and sets that type to this. If you aren't using the all items by source plus, which is a whole separate um, topic, you probably don't need this. Um, and then we see here there's subjects associated with it. Um, this is if you want to have like a, a listing of all the history databases, everything that's got this history associated with it um, will show up on that list. In this case, history multidisciplinary both have it. You can delete these associations 
you can change the source type, which is what we're talking about here, if it happens to be different for um, depending on the subject. And this description override means, you know, on the A to Z list by default, it's going to show the information over here. But if for whatever reason your history subject specialist wants to write something different, they can put it in this spot and it will override that. So it's going to look here first for a description, then it's going to look there when you're inside a subject guide. And there's nothing in here in the referenced in pluslets, but if there is a guide that has this um, inside one of its pluslets or boxes, um, it, would, it would be listed here, just so you, you know, you're aware, or the, the e-resources manager knows, okay, there's, um, this is linked in that guides pluslet, therefore I shouldn't delete it without you know, talking to the person. So that's kind of a very quick overview. Um, well you'll see here also, we've got a little check URL button click that and it's going to go out and uh, test the URL and it's done so and it, it thinks it looks okay. It would give a different flag if it tried it and it, it didn't seem to work. Um, and then in the drop down the only other thing is a new record which is essentially the, the same screen except of course it's empty. So that's the quick overview of records on the front end and I guess just to show you what it looks like once you're done uh, Da, da, da. Let's go to on our page the databases and the A. This is the A to Z list which is created by that. Um, so, so all that content that that we saw there was listed. And I think we were looking we were looking at 17th century something. Um, we see it here, and then if we were to look in the S, we should see another entry that alternate entry under. 17th. Uh, I guess we're not using it. So there we are. Thank you for your time.